Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Teach Me Something Tuesday episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. This week's episode is a struggle that both uh, professors and students have, uh, and that's keeping up with the Joneses. And by Joneses, I mean evidence-based practice. Uh, there's a lot of struggles that go on with keeping up with what's recent and what's uh, most effective in the current research, uh, both for teaching and educating, but also for patients as well and patient care. DPT students, for instance, right? They need to keep up with the most up-to-date techniques, um, you know, if they want to keep their knowledge fresh and be effective practitioners. Professors, on the other hand, they also have to stay informed on the latest techniques, but they also need to find the latest research on how to accurately contribute to the field um, and how to do their own research as well, right? They need to keep their research agenda moving forward. So uh, one of the tips that we we like to give people, and, and this is um, a very simple one, it, it kind of goes without saying to some point, it's very simple. Uh, however, it's one that I feel if I did not utilize, I would not have finished both my TDPT and my EDD. And that is use the library to its fullest extent. What do I mean by that? I mean, literally go to the library, right? Check out what books they have, what resources they have, learn the system, learn how to look stuff up, learn what journals we have access to, right? Um, ask the librarians for help. They love to show people how to utilize the library and really get good at using all of the things available to you at the, the library because the university's library is a cost that's built in to tuition, right? It's one of the services that we offer, but we also have to charge for, right? So it's important that you try to get the most bang for your buck out of the library. And I will, again, be 100% transparent here. The librarians saved my life many times. Um, they are so good at what they do. They taught me not only how to look up the things that I was looking for, but how to exclude things I didn't want, how to really refine my searches. Um, and then when it came down to that inevitable, like tricky journal article or whatever that I just couldn't find or we didn't have available, they were usually able to get through interlibrary loans. So, you know, the better your librarians are, the better your library is, the better chance you have at getting everything you possibly need to keep your finger on the pulse of evidence-based practice. And truth be told, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't know what you got till it's gone. You know, when you graduate and you get out into the real world and you don't have open access to a really great medical library and journals uh, and articles and, and whatnot, you really do go to missing it, you know, which is why, uh, you know, it's, it pays to, to try to keep, uh, you know, some sort of contact with uh, your professors and with uh, academia because uh, it really does help open up the opportunities that you have to learn what's new and what's out there. And if the professors are doing research to keep up with the evidence-based practice and to push the envelope to move the needle forward on their evidence-based practice, they're going to have a pretty good idea of A, what's out there and what the prior research says, and B, be able to inform you on what's new and, and fresh and what's coming down the line. So realistically, you know, if you use the library and, and the librarians for, you know, every possible thing that you can think of, it's really going to help you refine your library services and skills and utilization of it and help you improve yourself as both a practitioner and as a professor to really help move the needle on evidence-based practice and keeping in touch with it. Uh, let us know how you try to keep up with evidence-based practice, especially if you're a clinician who's been out for a couple of years. Let us know. Just uh, tag us on any of the uh, the social media handles at HET Podcast. We would love to hear how you are keeping up with evidence-based practice. Hope this was helpful and hopefully see you at the library. <laughs>